joining us today for part six of Wings Across Canada. In part five, we embarked on our journey from Wyarton, steering southwest across the agricultural heartlands of southern Ontario. We eventually reached the town of Leamington, steeped in history and famous for ketchup and its extensive greenhouse operations. Much to our delight, we found a shower available at this airport. We pitched our tents beside the ramp and settled in for a two-night stay. The airport manager generously offered us the use of his car, allowing us to embark on a small tour that included the local beach in town. Amidst our explorations, we even found time to indulge in a visit to an ice cream parlor, adding a sweet note to our adventurous day. In part six, we may not be soaring through lengthy flight durations, but we've captured some truly breathtaking scenes just for you. Our destination, Pelee Island, a notable landmass proudly positioned in the heart of Lake Erie, renowned for being the largest island on the lake and also the southernmost inhabited location in all of Canada. I hold a deep-seated fascination with islands and the unique cultures they harbor, making today's journey a much anticipated adventure on my part. Basking in the slightly warmer embrace of Lake Erie's moderating influence, Pelee Island boasts a climate that's a bit milder than its surrounding inland regions. This island stands out as one of Canada's warmest, fostering a thriving environment for vineyards and winemaking activities. The island maintains robust connections to both the Canadian mainland and the United States through its reliable ferry services. On the southern tip of the island, we'll find an incredible hiking trail that weaves its way through lush landscapes, ultimately leading us to a secluded beach. This hidden gem provides a serene escape, allowing us to immerse ourselves in the beauty of nature uninterrupted. Valerie, with her innate talent for networking, has once again worked her magic. She's connected with a local pilot who's not only lending us her pickup truck for an extensive tour of the island, but has also generously opened the doors of her home, affectionately dubbed the White House, for us to use as a lunch spot. Join us as we unravel the wonders of Pelee Island in this captivating new installment of Wings Across Canada. Welcome to part six. Cool morning from uh, in Leamington, Ontario. A uh, little bit of a quiet morning. Catch up on showers and laundry and organization and downloading. Downloading footage. Footage. Yeah. And uh, now we are off in a tiny little bit of a rain drizzle to Pelee Island. Could this be a short flight? It will be short. 12 minutes. Kind of like traffic, Charlie Fox, or I might go off for climbing to 3200 feet over the, uh, over the water now, and uh, heading for PVI. One minute from traffic, Charlie Fox, and over on my go. There's the park. Oh, yeah. This part's just kind of a swamp, but so it's all down this edge, basically. Oh, okay. Or, you know. Is there a road? Yeah, down this side. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a beach. this uh, Pelee Point Provincial Park or something like that. This is actually on Lemington, no? Yeah. Provincial Park here. Yeah. Supposed to be nice uh, biking trails and scooter trails. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Parking lot there. Must be the beach parking lot. Not a very big parking lot. They make in traffic, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra is just clearing the zone. We're headed over the water to Pelee Island. Pelee Island traffic, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra, Cessna 182. We're nine to the east. Sorry, we are four to the north, inbound overhead, Pelee Island. I said, we were just wondering about the weather. She goes, uh, I, that's my work. I go there every day. She said, I don't care what time the weather, what the weather's like, unless it's striking me down. <laughs> <laughs> I work there. I'm here. She's a really, really busy real estate. She does all the 99. She's in charge of the 99. 
What's she the said? 99? The ladies pilots. Oh. The Copa ladies pilots. Oh, that's right. She said, are you a 99 member? And I said, yes, I am. I, I, because this, all this stuff that she does. And Celia, I have November, Mike Holm, RV9. We're presently three miles to the uh, north runway. We're going to cross center field. Next west. Go from there. Celia, I'm Mike Holm, RV9. Mike Holm, 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 Mike so if I wasn't, then I couldn't do this today. But because I'm a 99 member, all this White House, that we're going to the White House. Oh, because you're a 99 member. Because I'm a 99. Oh, sweet. Okay, we can glide to Pelee Island now. Mm -hmm. How that worked is I got a hold of this lady, my name Michelle, and she said, are you a 99? And I said, I'm not. She said, you should. And I said, okay, I'm joining now. And she said, great. Okay. I have a couple of contacts for you. And one of them was um, a lady that um, put on the... Uh, the party the other night. Yeah. She has a couple of big ones. The next one's in October. And anyway, very, very friendly. A very busy lady with piloting and real estate, etc. So, cool. Very cool. Yeah, PBI, I'm Charlie Fox. We're there, Mike Golf, crossing center field. We're going down one left, two weeks. Uh, Pelee. Pelee Island traffic. Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierras, five to the north. We're going to cross center field, join a left downwind for 2 8 Pelee Island. Where's all the north, south, east, west, all that? North that way. Okay. We're pointing south ish. All right. So we'll just have to decide where we're going to go with all this island. Yeah. Get in and go. Barry, you should be coming in on final. Just about near the now. airport. Oh, it's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Pelee Island, uh, Turkey 180, Victor Lee Ninja, 7 miles to the uh, northeast, uh, 3200, uh, descending inbound for landing. We'll be joining across the uh, for left 2 8. Oh, well, there's a grass runway going now. And Pelee Island, uh, November Mike Alpert, final uh, full stop, 2 8. See you? No. Which way is it coming from? The middle? Uh, from that way. He's huh. landing on the... I don't know why we can't see him. It'd be lovely to catch up. Oh, it'd be awesome to catch up. Well, maybe when we get lined up at the runway, we'll see him better. I can't believe we can't see him. Coming from that way, though, Tom? From that way. Okay. Oh, there he is, right over the road. No, no, by the airport, Tom. Right, right on the airport now, Tom. He's right on the... Right on it. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Little too soon. <laughs> oh, it's crosswind. I missed him. Big crosswind. Dealey Island traffic, Gulf X Ray, Zulu Sierra, Cessna 182 is overhead the field. We're going to join uh, a left downwind for 2 8, Dealey. I'll taxi to the end for you guys to land. You still got time to backtrack, if you like. Okay, I'll backtrack. Pelee out in traffic, I'll fix Razor Lucy here, is on a left downwind. 2-8, Pelee. Pelee Island, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra is final for 2-8, Pelee. Flaps in. Well, my golf is clear, uh, one, two, eight. The I think I'll fix Razor here is on the back track, two, eight, Peely. Peely, I think I'll fix Razor here is clear of two, eight. I'll be her truck right there, the white one. Yeah. Well, that was a long flight. Ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> All six of us snugly fit ourselves into the pickup truck and set off towards the southern part of the island on an exploration journey. As we reached the southernmost point of the island, we discovered a remarkable hiking trail within the Fish Point Provincial Nature Reserve. We dedicated the following hour and a half to wander and marvel at the natural beauty surrounding us. 
Interestingly, this trail and nature reserve share the same latitude as Northern California. Moreover, the area is renowned for having the lengthiest frost-free growing season throughout the entirety of Canada. as we embrace the natural splendors of Pelee Island. With the satisfaction of two nature excursions, a delightful visit to a local winery, and a leisurely lunch at the renowned White House, we prepare to depart for the Leamington Airport. But for those familiar with our channel, the expectation is clear. The ordinary is seldom our chosen path. The region beckons with its hidden gems, and we heed the call in the most fitting manner by taking the scenic route. Thus we ascend, charting a course that embraces the beauty from above, a sweeping loop around the island, a straight path back to Point Pelee, a tour along the northern banks of Lake Erie, a graceful glide down the Detroit River skirting the edge of where Canadian and American waters mingle, over the expansive blue of Lake St. Clair, and only then, with all the boxes checked, do we return to the airport. Fasten your seatbelts as our adventure takes to the skies once more. As the scenes from this flight unfurl before me during the editing process, I'm disappointed to learn that the cockpit audio failed to record on our journey back to the Leamington Airport. While the cause remains a mystery, I will endeavor to describe it as best I can. As we soar along the western shoreline of Pelee Island, we move towards the south end and start our turn around the bottom. Below us, the lush expanse of the Fish Point Nature Reserve comes into view, evoking a sense of nostalgia for the nature walk we embarked upon just hours earlier, wandering through that very terrain. the Detroit River, a sense of familiarity and nostalgia envelops me. Thoughts of my cherished friend James, whose childhood was rooted in Windsor, surface in my mind. He would often paint vivid pictures with his stories of growing up in this very area. Now, as the plane glides along this river, those tales he told come alive, seamlessly weaving through my thoughts, as if this flight is stitching together the narratives of the past. He often described a bridge spanning the divide between Windsor and Detroit. A crossing that meant more than just traversing a river, it was a journey between nations. And now, as we fly overhead, there it is, right beneath us. Those familiar with my passions understand my enthusiasm for motor racing. While passing over the final island on the river, recognition dawns on me. This is Belle Isle, the very locale of the Detroit Grand Prix IndyCar race. What an unexpected delight. Just two weeks ago, I watched this very circuit come alive on my television screen. Peering down now, I can almost smell the scent of burnt rubber rising to meet me as I see the dark streaks of a well-worn racing line etched through one of the corners below. In despair, hell on a water, fire for it. Breathe 
As I touch down smoothly at the Leamington Airport, my mind swiftly pivots to the grand adventure awaiting us tomorrow. We'll be venturing eastward, doing three circuits through the bustling airspace over Niagara Falls before daring to thread through Toronto's airspace, the most congested in all of Canada, en route to the serene retreats of Ontario's Karwatha Lakes Cottage Country region. The very thought of navigating such busy airspace is daunting and somewhat terrifying. It's clear that tomorrow will demand the utmost of my piloting skills, pushing me way beyond my comfort zone. Spoiler alert, it didn't go all that smoothly and I ruffled some feathers along the way. If you enjoyed today's journey, don't forget to click that like button. Your thumbs up fuels our adventures. And while you're at it, hit subscribe and ring that bell. It's your boarding pass to more flights, more sights, and the camaraderie of our high flying adventures. Join the crew, share the love, and let's keep this channel soaring together. Until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon and your spirits high. It's not all fun and games. We actually need to cook and do dishes and clean up. Just saying. Eh. <laughs>